Hello everybody. This is a video demonstration of uh, how to uh, take a quiz in Blackboard. This is the portal for Antelope Valley College. Uh, down here, and uh, I'm going to zoom in, in the academics area, you have the Blackboard link. So I'm going to click on that open my link to Blackboard here's where you put your username and password to get into the course now I'm logged into Blackboard I'm going to find the link for a course that I'm teaching this semester for you as a student you will find your course linked up over here as well so if you click on your course and you will be in the course when the page shows up so here's my current weekly page I'm going to zoom in to my left margin this is where you have all the navigation tools for the course right over here there's the announcements which is the current page as you can see right there there's all different links and there are the act the links for the weekly work learning activities lectures educational guidance reading questions reading questions practice quizzes assignments weekly quizzes resources midterm surveys final exams and fr frequently asked questions of course as a student you will know you will be seeing it in this format right here which is the prior format was the one that I manage as your instructor but this is the current form that you see as a student but you know the menus are still very much the same as I, what I just read to you a little bit ago so anyway the objective of this film is to show you how to take a quiz in here because the different settings that are available on Blackboard, uh, there are things that you can, in, problems you can get into if you uh, do certain things. So here is my menu. I'm going to click on Weekly Quiz. And when I click on Weekly Quiz, here's the quizzes for the 14th edition of our textbook. If I click on <clears throat> the folder, right, so here's where you start. Sometimes students send me messages saying, I don't see the quiz, I don't see the quiz. Well, that's because it's not there yet. This is a folder. You have to open the folder in order to get into the quiz. So if you click on the link, every time you see an act uh, a link, uh, I don't know if it's a different color or not, but anyway, if you hover over and click on it, that means it's an active link. And here is the quiz for this week. It says chapter 1, quiz 14th edition warning once you start the quiz you must finish finish it in one sitting do not save or diverge to other tabs or windows while taking the quiz simply use the small arrows to get to the next question <clears throat> once you have made your answer selection although there is no time limit do not leave the quiz idle for too long as it may lock you out of the quiz this quiz does not count in your grade well, this is the does count in your grade. I'm sorry. The quiz does count in your grade. The practice quizzes don't count. Anyway, so here we are. So how do you take the quiz? Well, again, as I said before, if you take your mouse and you hover over it and you click on it and something happens because that's the way it's meant to be. Anyway, but that's how this one works. You click on the title and there's the next page coming up. Taking a minute to load. It says uh, instructions, and you know, I'm sure you can all read the directions once you, the instructions once you get to this point. But what I want to do is click right over here where it says begin, and I'm going to begin my quiz. So far, so this was this will be our first question right here. This is the first quiz of the questions. Now here's how the quiz is set up. It's set up under under force completion. In other words, once you start, you gotta finish. You can't leave it idle for too long, 
or move away and do things in, in other pages of the browser. Once you start, you got to finish. And uh, so here you have uh, multiple attempts are not allowed. You're only allowed. <clears throat> this test can only be taken once. Uh, Force completion once it started. This test must be completed in one sitting. This test does not allow backtracking changes to the answers after submission are prohibited. And then uh, here's question number one. It says seeing is to visual learning as hearing is to auditory learning as blank is to kinesthetic learning. So here are your options, the multiple choice question, moving, humming, listening, speaking. Okay, well kinesthetic is uh, all about movement, so I'm going to choose my option A. Now here's what happens. If you move on the right, move on the right hand side right here, you see this, I'm going to zoom out a bit for you to see the general perspective of, of the page here. Okay. So on the right hand side here is where the critical part is and sometimes students don't know and they get locked out and then they give me mess send me messages and I gotta go back in there and clear you from the quiz and have you start over. And as long as you guys you students do this prior to the deadline of the quiz, I don't have a problem. But once the deadline has passed, you're done. Anyway, here is the danger zone. You see this here and it says saved. Do not click on that. You're not saving anything. Okay, once you make the selection, all you have to do is move on to the next question. Do not click on save. Let me zoom in a little more. Don't click on there, because if you do, it's going to lock you out. All you simply have to do, you see this small arrow right up here? That one, or down below, the one right there. This one right here. Either one is your choice. That's all you have to do is click on either one. Okay, so I'm going to click on this one there and there you are now you're on the second question of the quiz okay and of course you know I don't want to give you away to all the questions of the quiz since you're just watching this to learn how to take a quiz but that's all you have to do read the question make your selection use your mouse to to put an answer to it and then move to the right hand side and click on either arrow, the small arrows down here or up there to the next to the get to the next question. Do not I you know I wish Blackboard just got rid of that. I have no function utility for it. Maybe I just don't know how it's used, but for in terms of the quizzes, that's all you have to do. Okay? Alright students, so I hope that helps you and that you can do uh, well on your quizzes. Remember you have to read the chapter, take the practice quiz and then uh, as many times as you want until you're ready for the real quiz and then the selection of those questions will be from the reading will be on your quiz for the week okay take care signing off bye